Hi guys! Um, I went grocery shopping kind of and more likely I went shopping for art supplies maybe and different things so I want to show them to you. Hey. By the way, um, just a quick update uh, when it comes to my eating disorder. At the moment I have some binge eating episodes but most likely I eat quite a regular amount I guess like I regular it down to regular it down to one eight to two thousand two hundred um and since I'm doing a lot of art when you are interested in updates from that I can probably do some <laughs> um it helps me cope with it and not to think a lot of um of my food like I get triggered when I see myself in the mirror so usually I just try not to see myself but yeah, I just want to make a quick update video so and show you my, my my things that I bought. Starting off with food items, kind of like trash food items, um, just instant noodles. They are Japanese chicken flavored, but here they are vegan actually, so that's fine. Also, they are one of the most delicious uh, instant noodles that I ever tried. I have to say, those got me into insulin before I never ate them, I find them disgusting and stuff and they're way too salty for me, so I tend to drink around 8 liters of water a day at the moment because I eat 2 packages of them a day, like, what the fuck, and it's way too warm to it for it, but they are scaring me a little bit because I don't, I think they have a lot of calories, they are, they have tendency to something between 250, all the yum yum noodles that I had tried. They have something between 250 and 300 calories, so that's kind of a safe food, so, yeah. Then I bought something for my bunny, it's called chicory or endive, so it's just switches up a little bit. It's very healthy for them. Starting off, I bought a random thing, it's just a new spatula, because why the fuck not? It's sharp as fuck. Way, but I think it should work well. It shouldn't destroy my pens more than they are destroyed already and it's it's nice, like I like it. It's from the dollar store, a Danish dollar store by the way, so it's called Flying Tiger. Um originally it's called Tia because it has an insider like Tia is the Danish term for a tiger but also for ten crowns, Danish crowns, and they are roundabout one dollar or one euro or something like that so that's the running gag and when someone explained that to me I was like that isn't funny <laughs> that's just not funny if you have to explain something so badly so then, then it isn't funny by the way sorry for my bad language at the moment so that's for the winter season they are not the most beautiful but they remind me kind of a bubble gum I don't know they are yoga gloves but um they are they have a profile here by the way so not everything is going to fall of your hands. Um, I have really 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 cold hands especially in the autumn and winter season and sometimes they get blue and purple even though I don't go out so I bought some gloves that I can use for that. I want to have some more like black ones and grey ones and stuff but for the first thing I think that's okay that's fine. Then in the same place I bought those two um, just markers, gold and silver. It's re really convenient that, is, that there's a Danish term and then there's an English term beneath, so I don't struggle with trying to translate it. I think that was everything that I bought um, at Flying Tiger. Sorry by the way for my fat legs, but <laughs> uh, I don't know. I like to film that in that way, just my ASMR videos are in the other opposite, so that's a, that's a thing for my, for my, like, for me, sorry for my really bad English today. Um, I'm just really nervous and struggling with anxiety. I bought, that, that's irritating me that you can open from beneath and it from, not from above, but yeah, a uh, lunch bread box. Like, it has unicorns on it, and it's apparently the new Deedle thing, so I really like it. I love those things, and there's a small piece that you can put here, so you can separate everything in your lunchbox, like so. 
I don't really need it because I'm unemployed officially since two days now because of my health issues. But anyway, we, I'm sure I will find a need for it. And it's cute. It has glitter and oh my god, it's so cute. I love rainbows and unicorns. I'm sorry. Then I have those already. Like, I, I don't even... I have it here. That's what it looks like when it's unpackaged. But, um... I cut wood with it, so we have some issues going on here. It's kind of broken. It doesn't really cut anything, so I bought a new one because I think it's cute. And I also bought a bigger scissor to cut the fur of my one of her bunnies. I had a especially fur scissor for her before, but it was too sharp, kind of. And now we're trying with an all-around scissor, so she will get rid of her fur. Like, she's a Satangora, so you have to cut her fur off. That That's totally normal for them. Then, because the school year is arriving, I bought those to supplement those. They are kind of more pastel -y. Like, I have some of the colors, as you might be able to tell, like, they're the same sometimes. Or just really, really similar. But I love to draw with pastel colors and... Usually I love to draw with um, pencils that are made of wood, like, I forgot how they are called in English, but I will show you. But since I started to color with them, I will just stick to it at the moment until I can buy a, a big set of uh, Faber-Castell um, polychromos. By the way, my drawing history is way back then. I started to draw when I was too young, way too young for anything, but I could draw and... I practiced a lot and then I was turned off a, um, a lot of times because people discouraged me and still today but I'm trying my best and I try to stick up with it so yeah. I also bought those. I had them already in a bigger uh, thing like in another shape but I lost this one and that's the one I need also I want to use them as a color thing again as a supplement for those just because they go kind of in the same range. Then um, a random food item, I bought cacao nibs. They were as, as, expensive, like, um, as expensive as the ones in the bag, but I really like glasses, like they are fancy. I don't know how they are tasting because I never had this brand, but I think they should all kind of taste similar and not all or anything, so. Hope for the best. They were kind of expensive. They cost seven euros, so that's they are always expensive. And then I bought I thought about three packages, but I'm not sure. Like it could have been just two. And I need a new doctor maybe. Um I'm pretty sure about three. Yeah. I'm going crazy right now. I bought three these alternatives, one with bell pepper, one in queen slash cheddar style and one with um, herbs. I never tried it. It's with oregano and thyme, so I didn't try it until now. This one is delicious. This one is delicious too. I never tried that. The only one that I disliked was the tomato and basil one and I don't try the mushroom because I, I despise mushrooms. I don't like the taste. I kind of like the taste of um, some mushrooms, champignons, but um, I, I don't really eat them. Like, I don't eat bell pepper either. And I dislike salads. Yeah, fun thing. By the way, I spent way too much money today. And then we have a gold flower aqua from Faber Castell. It's not, they didn't have the polychromos, but I needed a white one to, sh um, to shade the other pencil things, markers. So, I bought a white one in a better quality so I could use it later on. Because I can't find my usual pencils that I had. I had a whole box of them, but not especially them, but the color group ones. Like, that's not interesting to anyone, I guess, but yeah. Also, I bought some no name things. Like, I just bought those, yeah, notebooks. They are blank, so I can use them as sketchbooks, and they were reduced again because we have the the new school year coming around, and I bought one in the, I think it's A4 and the A5 size, so yeah. 
by the way, I really like the green. I like green, it's my favorite color. And the paper felt okay, so I will use it as a sketchbook. Yay, because I we, every time I buy a bigger one or a fatter one with more papers in it, my issue is real that um, <laughs> I just don't know how I start using it and then I stop eventually because I screwed it up and then I have colored or painted on five sides, six sides, and then I'm done with it, and I don't like that, so I bought those. Also, I don't know why, but I just wanted it. I wanted it. I needed it. No, I didn't need it, but it's uh, a coloring and sticker book, like... Sometimes you need need something like this. Like, it's beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. Not even the pictures that you ha can color, but the other pictures, and I love the stickers, and... They are beautiful! Oh, that is really cute, by the way. I love that. But you can't really color that because it's on the last side, so you don't want to color that, but that's okay. And it cost me 6 euros, I think, four, 5 euros, so I wanted it really bad. So, yeah. <laughs> then I bought two of my favorite college notebook thingies. They are just the recycled ones. I like the paper because it is not too smooth. It's more like rough and stuff. I like that it that isn't bright white and I can usually touch it. This is already hard to touch because I have a phobia of touching those things. Like, I had an issue touching this in the other book, in the coloring book, but that was once out of usual paper. Now it's a little bit more smooth, but it's not as smooth as the other ones. So, yeah. And they are the cheapest ones too. And I am about to rip my leggings, but that's okay, my fishnet stockings, not leggings. I made leggings out of them because I'm too tall, like, I forgot how tall I am, I think 5.9, I'm 181, so, so in meters. So, yeah, that one is already scrapped a little bit, but yeah, it's just a sketch pad, apparently. Like, I love it, it's... It was recycled paper and it's cheap as fuck, it's 4 euros and it's from Flying Tiger again, so I really like that. So I bought a lot of stuff for my artist things and I hope you kind of enjoyed it, even though I was a mess, but I'm struggling really hard at the moment with a lot of things and realizations. I have a lot of flashbacks at the moment and I remember where some of her phobias came from. E.g. I'm not able to talk to um, other people on the phone. It's not like I get scared. I really panic and I just can't. I won't be able to say anything. So I have to people to call other people for me. Like I can call my partner. And sometimes I'm able to call my grandparents. But that's hard already. So yeah. I have a person who looks after me, takes care of me kind of sometimes. <laughs> And she calls every every important place we have to call. And um, I lived on my own for two years before I got someone to help me out. So no one ever called any place. So I was just sitting there and getting more panicked. And I was like, okay, I will just kill myself as soon as I get something that's <laughs> that has to be talking on the phone. Or as soon as I have to ask or call someone to ask how much I have to pay or something. Um, I would just kill myself. That was my resolution. Like, I, I don't give a fuck. By the way, that's weird. I'm wearing my sleep pants beneath because this skirt is really short and I'm just wearing my one of my favorite shirts. Like, it's one of my favorite songs of all time. It's Labyrinth from Oomph. You can listen to it, actually. Um, it's in German, usually, but they have an English version as well. And both are... I love them so much. Um, also, they put out a new album. I can show you technically, like, give me a second. They brought out a new album, and I'm in love with it. They, it's just like, they give me those vibes, like, I, I love it, I really, really love it. Also, I'm, fun fact about me, I'm more into girls than boys, but I'm considered pansexual, so, yeah. But I can... I have a few crushes, in, I had a few uh, celebrity crushes in my life, really just three or something like that, 
I wasn't that typical girly type of teenager. I never was a t real teenager, so I think that's the thing that I can talk about in another video with story time. Like, I never grew up. I'm still 17 in my head, so I will never get older than that. That's one of the issues that comes with my version of DID, so I'm not an older, older personality of mine, but yeah. It's complicated and I will tell talk about that in a different video, I guess. But oh my gosh, Dero is hot. He's just hot. Like this is a band and the pictures might be a little bit disturbing, so 